How can I protect my assets in divorce? Hi, I'm Bill Farias, founder of Farias Family Law, and this is an issue that comes up when someone has significant assets, they're headed toward divorce, but they're concerned that they're gonna lose those assets. So I'm gonna do a couple of things in this video. Number one, I'll explain to you how property division works, and number two, I'll give you a couple of tips for protecting your assets. So first, property division is a major issue in divorce, and how property is divided depends on a number of factors, length of the marriage, the party's assets, their income, their ability to earn in the future and to acquire assets in the future, their contributions to the marriage, their age, their health, and a number of other factors. Probably the greatest factor, I would say, is the length of the marriage. So. The longer the parties are married, the more likely it is that the court is going to divide what the parties have approximately equally. So that's not a black and white rule. There are some circumstances where there's a long-term marriage and uh, maybe one party didn't contribute anything to the marriage or very little or squandered a bunch of money. Um, and so there still may be a disproportionate division of assets in a long-term marriage, but generally, if you look at that issue in a vacuum, the longer the marriage, the more likely it is those assets uh, will be split. In terms of how you can protect your assets, there are a couple of things that you can do. Uh, first of all, you can avoid to the extent possible commingling assets. And commingling means mixing your personal individual assets with your marital assets. For example, if your marriage is on the rocks and you get uh, an inheritance, then you probably want to put that in an individual account and just don't touch that individual account. Don't mix marital money with it. So this doesn't guarantee that you're going to keep all of that money, but it increases your chances. So generally avoid, especially if your marriage is on the rocks, avoid commingling uh, personal individual assets with marital assets. The other thing that um, you can do is that if your marriage is on the rocks, th then you should think about getting divorced sooner rather than later if you want to protect your assets. So, I, I mean, I always tell people I'm not encouraging divorce, and if you think there's a chance of fixing your marriage, you should do so. But if you're concerned about losing assets and you feel like you're not going to be able to turn your marriage around, then extending the life of the marriage only puts you at greater risk of giving up more assets. So those are the, the two things that you can do to uh, protect your assets is don't commingle and if you feel like you're headed toward divorce and you have significant assets and you have a lot to lose, then filing sooner rather than later puts you in a better position. What you should not do is you should not make any large um, slash significant slash shady transactions leading up to a divorce. So if you're headed toward divorce and you're trying to uh, hide money or make large transfers uh, to try to put yourself in a better position, then uh, the court will not uh, look at that favorably. So before you make any major moves, I suggest you contact an attorney. So that's how to protect your assets in divorce. If you have any other questions, you can call us at 508-675-0464. You can email us at info at fariasfamilylaw.com. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to our channel and share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. And you can find us on Facebook at Farias Family Law. Thank you. Have a good day.